Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1131. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to continue on with my new book, Three Steps to Quantum Wealth, The Wealth Heiress's Guide to Financial Freedom by Investing in Cryptocurrencies. Last time, I read you chapter one, and I hope you really enjoyed it. I got some really great feedback, so thank you so much for that. Today, I'm going to read you chapter two. It's called, Digital Assets Will Bring Enormous Wealth. And my quote is, Digital assets are growing so fast, it is shaving decades off of traditional investing timelines. Early stage businesses traditionally have been very good investment opportunities that compound money at high rates which I call powerful money engines. Traditionally, these newer businesses were invested in by venture capitalists or VCs, multimillionaires that provided private equity to fast growing businesses that did not have access to capital markets. They invest in new ventures, either business startups or young businesses because the returns are superior, beyond anything the everyday investor can earn. According to the National Bureau of Economic Research, the average return is 25%. At an average annual return of 25%, your money will consistently double in under every three years and 10x in a little over 10 years. For everyday investors, private equity investments have been out of reach and you've been conditioned to average annual returns in a 1% to 10% range of possibility. Low compounding rates are what keep you from being wealthy. People don't build wealth by keeping their money in a savings account earning less than 1%, yet many people do just that. To become wealthy, you need high rates of compounding. This is something the wealthy know very well, yet the everyday investor usually does not. This book can help you reach the higher rates of compounding. But first, you have to understand where money compounds at high rates. Early stage businesses compound at high rates. Now we will look at the list of Inc. 5000 fastest growing companies. The median, where half grew faster and half grew slower, growth rate for private companies on the list in 2020 was 165%. Just to give you an idea how high some compounding rates of businesses can get, the companies in the top 10 on the list grew 48,307 46,809%, 46,809%, 26,011%, 25,359%, 20,459%, 20,495%, 17,925%, 16,995%, 16,396%, 15,072%, and 13,876% averaged over three years. The 100th fastest growing company grew 3,473% and the 5,000th company grew 55%. These are all privately held businesses with at least $2 million in revenue. Because they are private companies, you don't have the chance to invest in them. However, if you could, and if your money grew 47,337%, A $1,000 investment would grow to $483,370. We will come back to this in a minute. As everyday investors, we tend to think of money engines that compound money as stocks, bonds, precious metals, or real estate, and the spectrum of compounding rates of return available to us is typically under 10%. A tech stock like Apple or Google might get us to 20% returns or above for a period of time. Rarely do we hear about investments that provide consistently higher rates of compounding, such as a triple-digit return for any consistent length of time. Everyone knows that Warren Buffett became one of the wealthiest people in the world and one of the investing greats by investing in stocks. 
Few realize that Berkshire Hathaway stock returns were about 22% annually. At that rate, it would take you decades to create substantial wealth versus the people who started businesses and had astounding thousands of percent returns. For example, it would take you 31 years to grow $1,000 invested at 22% to $475,504, while our example of the $1,000 investment in the Inc. 5000's fastest growing company achieved that in three years, saving 28 years of investing. Truly, being able to get high rates of return creates substantial wealth quickly. We are so conditioned to think lower rates of compounding are safe and that it's good to get rich slowly. Meanwhile, Wall Street is seeking out every high return they can and building a wall around them so only high net worth investors can invest in them. I have shown you that to build wealth, you must compound at high rates and that business owners can do that. That is probably why more than 47% of millionaires are business owners. Consistent high compounding rates are required for someone to become a billionaire. For example, Peter Thiel invested $1,700 into PayPal in 1999 in a venture capital investment, and it grew to $5 billion in 2021, which is more than 96% compounded annually for 22 years. The difference between private equity and venture capital is private equity is capital invested in a company or other entity that is not publicly listed or traded on a stock exchange. Venture capital is funding given to startups or other young businesses that show potential for long-term growth. Wealthy people invest venture capital in young businesses at low valuations that can grow at thousands of percent of return eventually going public and selling shares on the stock exchange. That is one way they build significant wealth. But again, to be a venture capitalist or invest in private equity, you have to be an accredited investor, which means you must have an income of more than $200,000 a year or $300,000 if you share a joint income. If you are not making that much, you can still be considered an accredited investor if your net worth, not including your primary residence, exceeds $1 million. In addition, you often have to invest at least six figures in each deal. That rules it out for a lot of people, especially people who are in more of a wealth building phase rather than those who already have more than a million dollars and usually much more than that. Everyday investors haven't had access to investment options that can compound at such high rates. Theoretically, having to qualify as an accredited investor is necessary to, quote, protect you from riskier investments, but it is also keeping you from earning higher returns. However, now because of cryptocurrencies, you can invest small amounts of money and achieve enormous rates of return that were previously inaccessible to you. That is what is so exciting about the quantum age. Cryptocurrencies are compounding at the highest rates in history. What makes cryptocurrency investing so unique is that you have the ability to invest early, almost like a venture capitalist. As you may already know, Bitcoin compounded at 200% per year for 12 years, which meant $1,000 invested for five years grew to $243,000. But few people know it is not just Bitcoin that is rising dramatically. Check out these five-year returns on other cryptocurrencies. Polkadot was worth $2.93 in 2017, and it grew to $20.95, which is a gain of 615%. Uniswap launched in 2020, and by June 2021, it was worth $24.60, a gain of 5,025%. Cardano in 2017 was $0.02, and in June 2021, its price was $1.50, an increase of 7,400%. XRP was worth... 0.006 cents in 2017, and in June 2021 reached 92 cents, a gain of 15,233%. Dogecoin was 0.0002 in 2017, and by June 2021 was 32 cents, a gain of 159,900%. Binance Coin was 10 cents, and by June 2021 had risen to more than $350, a gain of almost 350,000%. Another example of spectacular five years returns is Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization after Bitcoin. 
It is a decentralized blockchain that supports its native coin, ETH, ETH, thousands of other cryptocurrencies, and NFTs or non-fungible tokens. Its growth has been astounding. In the last five years, one ETH went from $7.10 in 2016 to $2,144, an increase of about 30,000%. Again, these are five-year returns. It is so foreign for stock market investors to see returns like this, but believe me, the hedge funds are noticing. Hedge funds are professional money managers for accredited investors. They can employ different strategies and earn a percentage of profit plus annual fees. Hedge funds will go wherever they can to make the most money so they can keep a percentage of it. It seems like a new hedge fund announces their entry into cryptocurrency investing every day. They understand the power of compounding money at high rates. When the wave of Wall Street money, hedge funds, endowments, family offices, institutions, etc., really starts to come into cryptocurrency, I think it's going to grow exponentially. That's why I say digital assets, of which cryptocurrency is one example, are very undervalued right now. The first inning of the quantum age has barely begun. Even one-year returns are spectacular for some cryptocurrencies. It's not just five-year returns that are spectacular. Some cryptocurrencies start their value below a penny, and you can buy them for 0.000000000001 when they are created. That is why some of the returns on cryptocurrencies are in the thousands of percent even in one year, such as 5,990%, 9,388%, 18,526%, 21,138%, even 30,574%. These are actual one-year returns on some cryptocurrencies. In 2017, the cryptocurrency XRP increased in value by 31,000%. It climbed from 0.006 to $2, according to CoinMarketCap. That means a $1,000 investment in XRP grew to $310,000. Bitcoin grew slower during the same year, increasing 1,762%, where a $1,000 investment in Bitcoin grew to $17,620. Still incredible. When we look at returns for the largest cryptocurrencies by market cap for the last one year through September 2021, the average compounding rates are in the thousands of percent. These are actual one-year compounding rates for the top 10 cryptocurrencies, excluding stable coins that stay steady at a dollar value, as displayed on coinpaprika.com. Bitcoin, one-year return, 342%. Ethereum, 814%. Hex, 14,858%. Cardano, 2,663%. Binance Coin, 1,432%. XRP 355%, Solana 5,171%, Dogecoin 8,696%, Polkadot 600%, and Terra 12,166%. That is a one-year average return of 4,709% per cryptocurrency, or $1,000 invested grew to $47,090 in one year. These are returns that normally would take decades to earn in the stock market. Cryptocurrencies, or what some call the blockchain asset class, are incredible investment opportunities that are saving you years of investing in slower compounding money engines like stocks. As quoted on intechopen.com with their own bold emphasis, cryptocurrency returns have averaged a level equal to roughly 20 or more times those of conventional currencies or equity investment. Although cryptocurrencies offer the attraction of enormously high returns, cryptocurrency investment is also accompanied by substantially higher risk. We will address how to minimize risk later in the book. I still believe we are very early in this investment, and although the returns are spectacular, 20 times better than stocks, they have only just begun. Let me give you an example how cryptocurrencies are able to save you decades of time of investing in other money engines. Janie started investing for retirement late in life. At 47, she finally started putting money away. Fortunately, she invested a small amount in a cryptocurrency. It was priced below a penny at 0.0003. 
Before long, she had turned her $2,000 investment into $547,000. This is what investing in cryptocurrencies can do for you because they have such high rates of compounding. It doesn't take much money to grow a small amount into a very nice size amount. Talk about an opportunity to close the wealth gap. This is a very transitional time where we are moving into the quantum age and making a lot of changes because of COVID-19. The pandemic has changed many things. Some people's finances have been devastated. Others weathered it okay. The pandemic advanced the rate of technology adoption by about 10 years because more people had to move online, use Zoom, go to telemedicine, and so forth. New technology is being boosted by more people moving online. More people moving online means more adoption of the technology, which means it becomes more mainstream. This is a pivotal time for digital assets that are about to become commonplace. Now you understand why I'm so excited for you. While most investments that reach extremely high rates of compounding are restricted to accredited investors who are already wealthy, cryptocurrency is basically like investing in early stage businesses, but does not require you to already have a million dollars of investable assets or $100,000 to invest in each deal. The spectacular rates of return we will talk about are mind-boggling and can be life-changing for you, even if you only invest a small amount. The bottom line. It is all about compounding, and there has never been a time in our history where compounding opportunities are so available. Why? Cryptocurrencies are in a fast-growing technological revolution. Leap into the quantum age. There are times in history when technology leaps forward and a lot of wealth is created. One, can you name a time you experienced or a time in history when a natural resource, asset, or invention gained tremendous value? Two, who benefited? All right, that's the second chapter of Three Steps to Quantum Wealth, The Wealth Heiress's Guide to Financial Freedom by Investing in Cryptocurrencies. I just wanna point out that I did write the book through this summer, So I had to stop at a particular point in time when I was talking about compounding. So some of the examples I've given in here, for example, for Ethereum, have already surpassed the prices from September that I was quoting in the book. So one of the reasons why I wanted to get the book out so quickly is because prices can change a lot in a short period of time. And I wanted to make sure that I got the book in your hands before prices changed quite a lot from what I was writing about. But here we are in late November and looking back on September, some of these compounding rates have already been far surpassed. And as you can tell from that chapter, the point I was trying to make is that you're able to act almost like a venture capitalist. You're able to act like people who are already multimillionaires and qualify as accredited investors and have six figures to invest, get to invest and earn 25% plus rates of compounding annually, but is typically out of the hands of the everyday investor. But through cryptocurrencies, now you have that level playing field and you have the ability to be investing almost as a venture capitalist. And yes, there is more risk. And I do have a special chapter on risk in the book so that we can minimize risk. And also I think another way to minimize risk is simply to just invest a small amount. I'm only recommending a 5% investment of your portfolio in cryptocurrencies. So you're definitely not putting in your whole portfolio. You're definitely not risking a large amount. You're not risking something that would be detrimental to you if for some reason it didn't work out. And I think that's important is to manage the risk by not going overboard with how much money you're investing and to keep a well-diversified portfolio. But we'll talk more about how to manage risk later on in the book. And for buying the book, you're going to receive bonuses. What are the bonuses? Well, for buying the book, You're going to receive my Wealthy Mindset Blueprint audio set, which is valued at $197. And you're going to receive a free webinar with me, value $1,500, where I'm going to talk more about what I wrote in the book, my favorite cryptocurrencies, investing strategies, where I can dive deeper into what I wrote and also update you Thank you so much for supporting my efforts to getting to number one on Amazon and making this a bestseller. 
That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.